Drum roll, please. Be. <laughs> it's coilers. Yeah. <laughs> so, company that sent these, I'll put the just uh, website in the description. It's called Max Peating Rods. They make a lot of aftermarket car parts. Uh, they're very well known for their rods, uh, high performance rods. They also make turbos, coilovers, and a bunch of other accessories. Make sure you go check them out and uh, maybe get yourself a set for yourself. So right here, these are definitely a budget friendly coilover option. Uh, I'm not gonna say they're very expensive at all, but for the price, I'm pretty impressed. Well, first off, we have an independent uh, body. Usually on the cheaper coilovers, the body is actually attached to the strut and you adjust your height on the coil itself. Also has a camera plate built in and a metal pellet, a metal pellet ball bushing, which you never get on cheap coils. You usually get like a rubber bushing. So we saw that and I was like, you know what? Definitely worth a shot after seeing those features. So excited to see how they run. Dude, not bad. These are literally $330. Yeah, I think there, there's a I'm sale pretty, right now or something. I'm pretty but... impressed. Yeah. I don't know. I'm. These look way nicer than I thought they would. Completely forgot to mention too, it has how many ways of dampening? It's 24 way adjustable damping or something like that? That's crazy. I can't believe, <laughs> I'm really impressed with these things. All right, let's see how they- Nice oh. dust boots. And look, these are like rubbery and not like the hard plastic that you get on like AutoZone struts. Oh, well, I missed that. Yeah, and well, this thing is stupid easy. Okay. Okay. So we gotta yeah. put these things in. Are you gonna now. adjust those first? Uh, I mean, slam it. Point. I always ran my cars. Because it looked better. B, that looks so good. So B, what are you thinking? A little bit lower in the front and a lot lower in the rear? Yeah, basically. All right, slam her down. I basically completely missed out all the footage of B-Hall installing these coils, and I apologize, but they're in. And I guess that's the important part. Everyone knows how to install coils. True. So this is, so they're definitely gonna settle. Coils, they always settle. A little bit. Some more than others, yeah. but I mean, right now, this is a really functional height. I really like it. It really cleaned up the car. Side splitters? Yep, we got these. So, he's gonna hook me up. He yeah, I'm gonna gift these, to, gift these to B Hall because they're gonna do a lot for the car. So It'll look cool. It's gonna help bring the side down a little bit and really make the car look a little bit lower. For sure. We gotta, so we're gonna do that and then we have to do a little bit of alignment in the front end. Um, and I'll probably take it to get the rear checked out sometime this week. So, we just dropped the e brake on the ground and it lowered it so much more. It's awesome. Look at the rear is so good now. So happy. It's not slammed, but it's like it's clean. Yeah. It's funny how like thick these things look when you lower them. Yeah. You love? Yeah, I'm stoked. All right, guys. So the real question is, how do they ride? So they're brand new. So they ride a little bit different when they're new. They always break in. They tend to get a little more solid once they break in. And then of course there's that uh, longevity factor, but obviously we're not gonna test that today. So let's go see how they are. Okay. It'll, it'll eventually stop rubbing. Well, I didn't, I didn't roll the fenders at all either. That's true. It's not rubbing now. I don't know what's going on in the front. Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. You don't have that like really like spring-loaded feel that coilovers usually do. They're pretty comfy. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Actually, yeah. For I can't I can't tell that we're lowered at all. Not right now. No. It's not bouncy. But it actually has dampening. That's impressive. <laughs> pretty impressed. Thoroughly impressed. Honestly, this thing rides pretty good. I'm max speeding rods. Thumbs up. I'll give it to you. I don't know. These are so, Jimmy. These are like their their top top model, right? Yeah, I'd say so. They had like three different price points. These were the highest price point, but still very affordable. I'll give it a thumbs up. I'll give it a thumbs up. It's a very comfy ride. Like it's a very soft coilover. That's how I'd say.